In this Cinema 4D Quick Tip, we're going to look at how to randomly rotate something, but restrict that randomness to 90 degree increments. And you might think that you'd actually go to the random effector for this, but there's no good way to actually contain the randomness and limit it to specific increments. So we're instead going to use the formula effector. And we'll go ahead and clear this one out so that we can start from scratch. I'll go ahead and add a new formula effector from the MoGraph menu. And again, because the cloner was selected, it was automatically applied to the cloner. And right here, we're going to go ahead and clear out the scale and position parameters. And we're also going to switch to the effector tab and remove that default function. What we want to do here is actually create randomness within the formula effector. And we can do that using the math functions that are available in Cinema 4D. If you go ahead and open the help, and you won't be able to directly access the math functions from here, but if we search in formula, you'll find an entry called formula appendix. And in here, you'll be able to see all of the different functions that we can use within the formula effector. And you can see that one of the functions available to us is RND, which generates a random number between 0 and A, which would be whatever the first argument is. And you can also provide a second argument that's used as the seed value. So let's go ahead and type RND. And in this case, we want that value to be generated between 0 and the number of possible increments minus 1. And the reason why is because we have 0, right? So if we have 0 and 3, we'll get a total of four increments. And that's what we have if we want to break a 360 degree rotation into 90 degree increments. So we'll go RND three. And I do recommend always putting in a semicolon and adding the seed value. Because if you don't add a seed value, Cinema 4D is going to automatically choose one and it's going to change randomly as you adjust your scene. So always provide that seed value in the random function. So now what we have is uh, nothing happening because we need to go into our parameter and add some rotation. And you want to go ahead and set the rotation values to the increment you want to use. So we want to rotate in 90 degree increments. We're going to set the rotation pitch and we'll do the bank as well at 90 degrees. Now you see that we're basically still getting complete randomness. And that's because the output of this function includes all of the various floating point numbers between 0 and 3 as well. What we want to do here is get whole numbers because those whole numbers are going to multiply by the increment that we specified here in the rotation. So to do that, we'll again look at the math functions that are available. And there's four that we can use. There's the trunk function, which merely truncates or lops off everything after the decimal point. There's also the round function, which rounds just like you're used to from elementary school. Anything below 0.5 rounds down and above 0.5 rounds up. There's also the floor, which always rounds down, and the ceiling, which always rounds up. In this case, we'll go ahead and use the round function. So we'll go ahead and type round and surround the RND function with parentheses. And now you can see that we're getting this random rotation, but it's restricted to 90 degree increments. If we don't like the specific randomness that's been created here, we can of course go in and change the seed and we'll get a different solution. Now the reason why I chose to use round instead of trunk or floor or ceiling is that round is going to give me values of 0, 1, 2, or 3. If I use trunk, it would be very unlikely that I would get a value of 3 because the only random number between 0 and 3 that would truncate to 3 is 3.00000. And it's very unlikely to grab that. So that's why I used round here. And that's basically all there is to it. If you wanted to use 45 degree increments instead of 90 degree increments, you would just go into the parameter tab, set the increment to 45, and then in the effector, you're going to want to now take into account that there's eight possible increments. And we want to always set this value here to one less than the total number of increments because of zero. So we're going to set this to seven. And now we have randomly rotated footballs at 45 degree increments. So now you know how to add a little randomness, but control that randomness to specific increments.